Hey, what's going on guys? It's Skullmore here. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. Well, it's not really a Fortnite video. It's more of like a story time in this video Actually before I get into telling you what it's about drop a like Let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video share it to your friends and you definitely want to share this video To your friends to raise awareness about the situation. All right, so let me get into it Today's video is gonna be a story time about how I almost died and this actually happened about a week ago So let's get into it. All right, man. So where do I even freak? can start this story. I think I'm gonna start it at my hometown in the central Florida. Um, I am about 30 minutes away from central, well technically central Florida, which is Orlando. My friends attend a school in Orlando. I won't disclose any of that information, but they do it. They attend a school in, or, uh, in Orlando. And you know, as a, as a friend should, I, I go out there and visit like probably every other weekend. Maybe sometimes I go a lot like every weekend, you know, just to visit friends, check up, visit, you know, have fun. All right. So yeah, this starts with me heading to Orlando for the weekend. Where am I going to go? Gosh, dang it. I think I'm going to go shiny sound. All right, so everything is good. The drive is safe. Nothing about car accidents or anything like that. So I arrive to my friends and it is Friday night. And keep in mind, this is the weekend of Halloween. And, and as we like to call it, we like to call it Hollow Weekend. Oh, I got a message. From a bad Just kidding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the weekend of Hollow Weekend, and Friday night, you know, I'm a, I'm a college student, guys. I want to have fun on Hollow Weekend. I want to go to some parties. I want to have a good time. I want to get lit. Normal college kids want to have fun on the weekend, especially during Hollow Weekend. So Friday night, we have a good night. We have a good night. Friday night's safe and sound. We party hardy, and then we make it home pretty, pretty safe. Like, we're all, we're all good. We're all chilling Friday night. Now, as we get into Saturday, my friend tells me he found another party that we can go to. I mean, it's Hollow the weekend who's gonna turn that off or down man come on who's gonna turn that off or down if you do you're crazy so i'm like yeah sure let's do it let's hit another party up we got this we're boys taking over the weekend i'm in town i'm just trying to have a good time this weekend and uh, you know hang out with my friends my good friends all right so here we go we are off to the second party and honestly it's a very very good night man it's a very good night saturday night was an awesome night uh let, let's get into the first we, we actually did a couple of party hops the first uh party was actually a low-key kind of party just like maybe about 20 people just a little chill party so we played some cup pong stuff like that it, it's a fun time that's all i can say and then that party actually ended up i think the hosts decided to shut it down because too many people were kind of going inside at that point, so they were like, no, this is our place. We want to keep it nice and tidy. We don't want any anything to get destroyed, because that party did kind of get a little bit out of hand. Um, all right, so we leave that party. Um, we go to the second party. Oh, I think we, we get a choice here. Let's see. I'm going to do the shoddy. I see him. I see him. How did he get out of that? What the heck? No, I have no ammo. No! I mean, I, I had ammo. I didn't have any freaking mats, bro. That sucked. That screwed me. I was I was about to sweat on him. Whatever. Let's get into the next game. All right, so like I was saying, we get on to the second party. We, we move on from the first party. Kind of a low-key one, then we move on to the second one, okay? Now, the second one. When we got to that thing, bro. Uh, let me just tell y'all right now. Look into my eyes. That party was a rager. That party was crazy. Out of hand. I should have not ever enter entered that building. It was just, whew. That, that, that party was meant for disaster, okay? And we haven't even got to the good part yet where I get hurt. <laughs> Alright, so as we get onto the night, we're partying. We're partying super good. We're partying hard. We're going crazy. It's a, it's a good and safe night. And let me just tell you this one thing. College students, they drink a lot. But the thing is, I was not personally drinking that night. Friday maybe was a different story, but Saturday... No, I was not drinking that night. And I can tell you right now, I was not drinking that night. I had maybe this much of a shot. That's it. And that's not going to do anything to a person. It's, it's still going to be in your system, but it's not going to do... It's, it's not going to make you forget where you're at or anything like that. As the story progresses, keep in mind, I was pretty sober, okay? I was tightened up. I, I was sturdy, man. I was sturdy. All right, so... Let me just tell a, a specific event that happened before I get into the chaos. There was this guy dressed up in a Jesus con in a Jesus costume, and he was kind of the host of the party. But the thing is, he was the host, but he was going crazy. Like he he was obviously very very intoxicated under the influence, which is not good, guys. Do not do that. Do not lose yourself. I swear, I hurt somebody. 
do not ever lose yourself under the influence of alcohol guys it's it's not a good thing because you really do lose your mind and it's it's not healthy okay but like i was saying there was this guy in a jesus costume and he was under the influence heavily so what he did before was he got up on a table and, and everyone was just like chanting his name like jesus jesus stuff like that because everyone was very very intoxicated as well okay so what he did during this event he got up on the table this is this is why everyone was chanting his name he got up on the table he was the host of the party and he was like are you guys here to have a good time just trying to hype up everybody and then he oh shoot what is going on man that was kind of crazy, not gonna lie. He was like, are you guys here to have a good time? And everyone was like, yeah! And they were all chanting his name, stuff like that. He, he didn't actually say good time. He was like, he said, he said a couple swear words when he was saying that. Are you guys ready to get blanked up, blah, blah, blah. It, it, was, a, it, it was a fun time, not gonna lie. And he was hyping everybody up. Now later on, I ran into this Jesus again, and he told me a story about how he he threw a bottle across the room on act like he did it purposely. He didn't mean to hit anybody, but he did. He hit somebody, and they they went home bleeding, blood down their face, stuff like that. And he felt bad. He was like, "I'm not gonna throw another bottle. I felt bad. I feel bad about that." Blah blah blah. Okay. Night goes on. Uh, keep in mind, I'm still sober. I'm deciding not to drink at all tonight. It's not a good idea because my friends, they're probably going to be goners by the end of the night. I'm to make sure everyone gets home safely. So I'm kind of being an adult, adultious, adultious kind of supervisor in this situation for this party. I'm, I'm trying to take care of everybody, make sure everyone is okay. All right, so let's get to the, let's get to the part. So later in, an, uh, later in the night, yo, this chicken's going crazy. I see these people standing on a table that is about to literally freaking collapse. And I'm like, nah, I gotta get them down before it falls and someone gets hurt. Someone's gonna get hurt on this table. So I get them both down successfully, alright? And then my friend decides to get up on the table right after, and I turn around and he's just- I, 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 Keep in mind, I was looking a different direction. I turn around and he's on the table. And I'm like, hey man, you gotta get off the table, it's about to fall. And it, lo and behold, the table snaps in half. <laughs> the table snaps in half. It's the funniest thing. My friend goes falling on his back. He's fine. He runs out of the room because he thinks he's about to get in trouble by somebody. And he didn't because nobody was there. Like, they were, everyone was there, but it was everyone was mentally just freaking gone because they were all intoxicated. So he falls, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, is he okay? I'm kind of laughing. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was laughing my butt off at that point because it was kind of funny. He was okay. He was just laughing. As, I was just laughing my butt off. Jesus. Who's doing that, bro? Alright, so so my friend, he's out of the room now, all, all good and safe. About 10 seconds later, like, keep in mind, I was trying to get all my friends out to safety and stuff, man. Oh my gosh, I nearly died there. These weapons in this game are lethal shredders, bro. I, I'm telling you. All right, so about 10 seconds later, I get swacked, swacked with another, guess what? Glass bottle right into my forehead, right into my donger, right into my dome, bro. At that point, I'm, I'm less like, oh shoot, someone just threw a bottle and that's not good. It broke against my head. I thought no damage happened at all. I thought I just got a little clunk on my head because it didn't hurt at all, really. So I was thinking nothing of it, but as soon as I touched the part where my head where my head got clonked, I take my hand off and a pool of dripping blood fills my hand completely. I'm talking my hand is cut. It looks like I just dipped my hand in a red paint bucket. Literally blood is dripping down my hand and I, I, I start panicking. I run outside, try to find my closest friend. And then I do, I eventually find my one of my friends sitting in a lawn chair outside uh he was kind of like very he was very tired so he was just sitting there tired and maybe intoxicated but tired and i was like dude i just busted my head open straight open or something just busted my head open i need to get to the hospital right now or else i'm gonna bleed out i walk backwards a little bit and these two females these two girls come up to me and they're like oh my gosh what happened are you okay what's going on do we need to get you help and I was like, no, I, I think I'm okay, I just need to wash it off. And they were like, no, it's bad, You're, you have 
blood dripping down your face right now. And I'm just like, uh, is it is it that bad? And they're like, yes. Luckily, I had another shirt on me, and I took it off. They, ra they The girls were able to wrap it around my head to stop the bleeding from dr rushing out of my skull. And uh, all was good. The blood stopped. But at that point, I already lost so much blood that I was just about to just bleh, faint, man. I was about to faint. Alright, so I had a crap ton of blonde rushing down my face, and then some random guy comes up and he's like, Hey, do I need to take you to the hospital, man? And I'm just like, at that point, I'm like, yes, I need to get to the hospital. Um, so he takes me to his car. This kid's annoying, man. Very annoying. I'm out. That's the most annoying shit ever, bro. For real. Like, can you put your stupid away and fight me like for real dude she's gonna block every shot and go through my builds like a drunk alcoholic bro all right i'm sorry for that all right so at this point i'm rushing to the hospital we go to a hospital and it's actually it's closed which is crazy one of the hospitals we went to was cro closed i was losing more blood at this point so my friends what they did is they took me back to the place i was staying and as soon as we got back to the place i was staying i went to get out of the car and i swear guys i fainted 30 seconds of my life, I do not remember. I was passed out because of all the blood I lost and how scared I was. I was panicking, I passed out. Literally, I was. N my friends were so, so scared. When I came to, my friends were screaming. They were shaking me, trying to get me awake. And I was just like, man, I do not remember anything of what just happened. But it did feel good. It was like I had a factory reset or something. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm better now, guys, by the way. No, but at that point, I was like, all right, call my mom, gotta get her on the phone. We gotta get me to the hospital right now or else I'm gonna go into a coma and die, bro. So I, I got to the hospital and apparently it was just because since I had even any bit of alcohol in my system, my blood thinned up and it got loose and any cut blood would have rushed out of my body, even if it was on my finger or something. So when you have a little bit of alcohol in your system, your blood just thins up and it it's like kind of a, it goes in gusher mode. It's, it's crazy. And it turns out that this right here was the only thing I had that was dripping blood out of. Just this, these two cuts right here. And of course, I have had a headache for the last four days. Um, it's not a concussion, I got CT scans. That thing where you go into the scanner and they scan your head. But all I wanna say is, if I did not block off the blood from coming out of my head, I think I would've lost so much blood or I would've, I might've ended up dying or ended up being in a coma for the, just the amount of blood I lost. What you're not supposed to do is faint. If you faint, you can't, it's, it's one of the first stages of being put into a coma. I, I can't believe I ended up fainting. It, I never fainted before. That was the first time I ever fainted in my life and it was super scary. So basically, overall, I just want to say this story is kind of like a message. Take care of yourself. Like, if you're out, don't be going too crazy. I, I wasn't, I was not going crazy. I was being responsible. But if I was going crazy, I would not have been able, and like if I was going crazy and drinking and stuff, I would not have been able to, you know, talk to the doctors reasonably and be like, oh, this happened, this happened. Also, I didn't lie. I did say I had a couple drinks of alcohol. The doctors, they're not cops. They're not going to go off and put you in jail for doing that. So tell them the truth. We're going to give a little hot drop here for the last game. I got a sniper, bro. go back in there for revenge bro no I was on my wrong gun gosh freaking dang it bro 
Anyways guys, that's gonna do for today's story time. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you guys enjoyed the story and kind of took away some aspects of it that can help you in your life and like help you not do stupid things. Honestly, avoid the parties, avoid the ragers. It's just not worth putting your life on the line for. And uh, well, some people might say it is, but it's for me, it's really not. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, share the video with your friends and I'll see you all in the next video. Leave suggestions down below. What, what video should I do? Should I do another story time? Let me know. Hope you all have a great one.